Hello, in this, hello, in this video, I'm going to show you how to use our template for automating screenshot. It's a beginner's template. It's fully customizable and it's a great starting point for someone new to automation. I'm Alex Barlow. Let's dive in. Quickly before I show you how to set up this template, I'm going to take you through in context a little bit about what this axiom does. I'm also going to show you how to build this step by step yourself. That's only going to take a few moments after I've shown you how to configure it. And then I'll show you how you can customize the template. All pretty cool. Let's get going. So first things first, what does this template that I'm about to show you do? Basically, it will loop through a bunch of URLs like this stored in the Google Sheet. And in this case, I've got our website link stored there because we take screenshots to make sure when we push new code, the changes have happened. So it's a useful testing tool. It's also useful, for example, if you're doing some reporting, if you want to grab some graphs off a web page so you can use it in a presentation or you just want some proof that a change has been made on a site or an email sent, etc. And so this bot's basically going to loop through various URLs on our website and it's going to save them to a folder. So that's the context of what this automation does. Now let's um, show you the configuration. Okay, so once you've gone to our template page, you've installed the template, Axiom's loaded it into, into your um, account, into the builder in your extension, you'll, you'll be presented with this. You'll see the two steps that need to be configured. Yes, only two. So it's going to take uh, roughly 20 seconds to set this up. Um, but before I show you that, as you have already mentioned, we need a Google Sheet for this exercise because we're going to pass the, the links for this template because we're going to pass the links from the Google Sheet. And conveniently, like on Blue Peter, I've already made a template and I've got some links in there. So let's go ahead and set up this first step. I'm going to add my Google Sheet. You can see it's there, screenshots. It's just the first sheet. And in the preview, I can see my links have come through. Now the go-to page, ignore that. We've got the data inserted there already from the Google Sheet. So the loop is set up. We can see it on there. We know the page will basically loop through the data loaded into there, going to each URL. So the final step to set up is just to basically select the folder where I want the files to go. And I'm just going to choose a folder on my desktop. Axiom will load that path. Of course, if you're familiar with your path, you can just type it straight in there. Next file name, Axiom Screenshot. And um, when those files save, they'll have a number added to them. So it, the, it, the number will iterate up. And so it'll be the Axiom 1, Axiom 2, da 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 Anyway, moving on, JPEG. I'm going to leave the file type as JPEG. You can have PNGs. And that's it. The, the initial bot is configured. So let's just click Run and see what happens. So this is the part I just love. I don't get tired of watching bots. It's awesome. Or don't get tired of watching axioms. And here it is. It's looping through the web page. It's going to take the screenshots. It's already onto the next page. <coughs> I'm just going to have a sip of coffee while that finishes. Then I'm just going to open up the folder to make sure those screenshots are there. Let me find that test folder. Here we go, here are the screenshots. Awesome. So that's that automation explained and that's how easy it is to configure. Okay, what next? So what if you want to customize this? So that's the brilliant thing about Axiom templates. You can customize them all, tailor them to your use case. That's the flexibility why we put the builder in there. So that's pretty powerful feature set there. So to customize, all you need to do is add steps. Now we've got this interact step here and we've got the interact step has sub steps. So for example, if you wanted to go to a page, take a screenshot, then you want to click on an element to load some additional data, like a graph into the page or to reveal some data, like a table, then you just could add a click element to customize it. And then you would select that element and you could add an additional screenshots step. So you could capture that before and after on that before and after shot. So you've got a shot before the data you revealed, and then you've got a shot after the data is there. You can also, if you then want to go to different pages, or you can add go to steps, but you can also put different links in the sheet. So whether, whether that's relevant, you can also use the enter text steps to fill in a form. 
and check. So for example, if you wanted to test if your form is working, you can create an axiom with a series of enter text steps that puts those into the form, click save, and then takes a screenshot after the save to, to see what's happened. So Axiom has a pretty powerful feature set. It's very flexible. You can pretty much mold this, this beginner template into a, a very useful testing tool or for getting data for reporting, etc. Like, like I've mentioned, mentioned before. Okay, so that's how awesome this is. I hope you've enjoyed watching the video. I hope you find it helpful. And if we can ever be of any help, do reach out via our support. Thank you.